You've got mail. We got a shit ton of mail today. So this is very exciting moments. My new iPhone has finally arrived on Black Friday. So goofy, y'all. I got the phone here and I got the case, which this, my phone was shipped by UPS and the case by USPS. Uh, so they both arrived today. This one got, they both arrived while I was at work. So I was so eager to just get back here and open it up. And uh, my, screen protectors aren't, my screen protectors are not here yet. So I'll wait for those for later, but let's go ahead and open it up. My new iPhone. So I showed you guys last week which one it was. It was a 13 Pro. I bought it renewed off of Amazon, and I've been reading lots of reviews off of a bunch of Amazon renewed iPhones. They're all mixed, so we're about to see how this really goes. And oh my God, the moment is so tempting. Finally, gonna be upgrading from my three-year-old iPhone 8 Plus that I've had. My sister's in the background. She wants to see me open this. Finally gonna be upgrading from my iPhone 8 Plus that's, it's five years old now, but I had it for three years and it's lasted me very good. So that's, I know. So it's been quite a ride with this phone. It's done a lot of good for me and it's been fun, but you know what they say, all good things must come to an end. All right, enough stalling, let's open it up. Oh, so it opens up like that. Can I open the case? Uh, sure, you can open my case. Oh, okay. So, right off the bat, they package it in this kind of wrap like this. So you can just slide the phone out just like that. Oh, not bad. Whoa. Nice, dude. Oh, I see what it comes with. Okay, so they provided me with a U Lightning to USB-C cable. It's definitely an off-brand. Your free 12-month warranty. Okay, so this comes with a year warranty. And they gave me a SIM tray. Nice. My sister's opening up my case, but let's see the phone. Oh, pretty nice, dude. There's this white tape on the back. I don't know what it is from. Can I peel it off? I wonder what it is. It might just be that little sticker. I don't know. All right, and here it is. Wow, dude. Yeah, I got the, the normal 13 Pro and my sister opened up my case. I got the normal size 13 Pro. Damn, this blue color looks nice. And I got this case. It's kind of like the one my dad has for his iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's put it in and let's see it. I gotta have to do all the transfer stuff today. Wow, it's a great fit. All right, so uh, I'll put in here. You can put it like your credit cards and your IDs, and I think this is a little pocket for cash. Nice, dude. Put that aside for a second and compare the two. They actually don't feel too different in size. Well, actually, once you have this one closed, you can feel this one is a little bit lighter. But this, that's the same tray. My sister's opening all the stuff that it's in my box. But all right, moment of truth. Let's power this sucker on. She is just crawling through there. <laughs> oh my god. I can already see the display it looks so much better. It's Bro, a, this you is just a, turned it on, you're like, oh my god. Just look at this quality alone, even when the phone it is. It's so clean. It's so clean. Look, it's a full screen. Oh. Oh god damn it. Sting is that Okay. I had a feeling this would happen. They didn't charge it. So I'm gonna plug it in myself with my portable battery. Ah. I had like 36%, so we're good. Okay, so, oh, all right, so already it's asking me to, if I wanna set up my new phone. So yes, let me unlock my phone and we can go ahead and get it set up. Okay, uh, I tried to unlock it and now it won't, it won't go through again. Let me, I think let me try shutting this phone off and then we'll see what will happen. Oh, look at that fancy animation. And look at that 120 Hertz display. I didn't even bother to see the condition of the phone. Let's see if it's, well, there's my fingerprints all over it now. And this thing that's raised to wake, which I have that disabled just because for me it's annoying. Uh, so I don't see any scratches on the screen. This is in pretty good shape for an acceptable condition refurbished iPhone. Really good shape. I'm more or less concerned of the battery health, but hopefully it's nothing too bad. Yeah. And now, um, let me go. Maybe if I just go like so this. This is like so much more brighter. It is. All right, so let's head to here. Quick start. Okay, bring your iPhone. I'm trying to bring it closer. Which iOS is it on? It appears, it appears to be running iOS 15. And I can't for some reason. I, I'm trying to put them together so this one can activate. Maybe let me turn this one off and try it again. Oh, it's gonna last me to unlock. There we go. 
Oh, and it's exposed my iCloud email. I'm gonna blur that. All right, so now it's coming up with this prompt. So let me go ahead and hold up your iPhone. Finish the new iPhone. All right, this thing is super, oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so it's gonna ask me to enter the passcode of my other iPhone, so I'll be our bet right back. Oh, now I have to set up Face ID, so this is the first time I'm ever gonna have Face ID, which honestly, I'm ready to have because Touch ID on my iPhone kinda sucks now, especially when your fingers are kinda like dirty or you know, it kinda messes up the home button. So let's do Face ID. So, how to set up Face ID. First, position your face in the camera. Frame. Then move your head in a circle to show all the angles of your face. Okay, well, I'm gonna do this off camera because it's much easier that way, so I'll be right back. All right, face ID is now set up, so let me continue to do all that. I should see if my other phone is still on. Okay, yeah, it's still on. It's still asking me to do all this. Convert to eSIM, and it's gonna show my freaking phone number. Uh, let me see. So it's asking what the SIM is stored digitally, which is stored. Once your physical SIM is converted, it can be removed from Are the SIM blow tray. Out? Yes. Okay. The thing is, um, I, I don't know because I'm, I'm going to switch carriers. I'm on T-Mobile on my iPhone 8 right now. And I was going to switch over to something else, like probably Metro with my mom because T-Mobile sucks. Uh, I'm going to put maybe not now. Let's see. Put a set to manage your cellular plans. Okay. Uh, we'll do that later. Transfer from iPhone. Let's see. You start using your iPhone and about your data will be downloaded. Transfer directly. So this data about. So time to transfer is one hour and 30 minutes. All right, let's just do it like that. Cause it's the easiest way. I agree. Yeah, whatever. Uh, make this your new iPhone. Yes. Oh, I know pair my Apple Watch too. So do everything, everything. Continue, continue. Oh, I can select the voice for Siri now and set up. Hi, I'm Siri. Hello. Hi. I'm Siri. Choose the voice. Hi, I'm Siri. No. Choose the Hi, I'm Siri. Yeah. Yes. Choose the voice you'd like me. That's the one. Hi, I'm Siri. No, I said four. You turned. I'm Siri. No, oh, oh, okay. Choose I'm. Choose the voice you'd I'm like pressing me. the wrong key. I thought next was down there. I need to read. Okay. Oh, it's gonna ask me to say that. Um, hey Siri. No, 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 no. Let me do it. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Send a message. And this one's activating too. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? This is so goofy, y'all. Uh. Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Mm -hmm, this is so specific. Yeah, no. Hey Siri, play some music. I swear, if this thing starts playing music... Oh, hey, <laughs> activated on my iPhone 4S. The, the white one over there. I seem to have lost my internet connection. Goofy, uh. Goofy uh, iPhone 4S. Okay, uh, so... The whole Siri is with the side button this time instead of the home button. Improve, yeah, improve wait, it. Wait, Give me a sec. Oh, wait, I have to do a software update. Oh, that's just great. Do I? Oh, okay. So this thing was on iOS 15 and now wait, it's on the latest version of iOS. Okay, so it's gonna do this software update. It, I don't know how long it's gonna take because it's been on iOS 15. I know, Goofy. Uh, this is so clean, dude, holy crap. Compared to like this, all the bezels and- But this one's more brighter. Well, that's it's brighter right now. The brightness is a little lower on this one, but it's better quality screen and everything. So, oh my god, dude! I mainly just can't wait to try out these cameras, dude. Holy crap, this is gonna be, that's gonna be amazing to it's try like, out. You know when we always go to the Apple store when we go to the mall, and how good those qualities are. It's I like, know. Yeah. All right, so I might have to leave these two phones just sitting here to finish up. So this one is gonna do the software update, and that one is still kind of slowly transfer everything. Um, which is uh, hopefully Hopefully what it does is during the software update it kind of I don't actually know how it works I never, I never moved from one iPhone to another like this or like I did it three years ago And I forgot how, exactly how it went So I'm gonna wait a little bit and I'll be right back I'm actually using this case for my phone for the last couple days It's also a wallet case you can see this one kind of opens up like that Instead of my UAG one because what actually happened is there's like little glue here and I kind of peeled it off because it was satisfying but that was a mistake because now every time my uh, license and credit card would always just be sliding out easily. Um, so I went with that other wallet case for just a few days but I'm going to put my iPhone 8 back in this one now because I honestly prefer this one. But um, yeah, while well, it's currently still going to be on that page for I don't know how long but um, yeah, just leave it there I guess and yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take. I'm just primarily waiting for the software update but We'll see how that goes. All right, the phone rebooted. It did software update. Now let's see. Oh, okay. I gotta put in my passcode. Okay, so it's reconnecting, and it's it was a message on my phone here that said, uh, "Wait for software update." Now it says, "Finish on the new iPhone." 
so oh, it says SOS right there. This one does not have the satellite feature like the 14, but honestly, I think I'll be fine. Never had to be in an emergency situation like that, thankfully, and I hope I don't have to. So I think I'll be fine with that feature being not being here on the iPhone 13, but I, I should be fine. So preparing to transfer. They said the transfer process would take an hour and 30 minutes at most. The software update didn't take too long. It was probably about 15 minutes, but I'm gonna, I'm keeping these around here just to make sure that everything's gonna be fine and uh, yeah. All right, so as you can see there, it says transferring, transferring data, and I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, should take a little bit. And uh, while we wait, I'm just gonna just let it sit there, and I guess we'll right now I'm about to eat food, and then uh, then I'll I guess do my college homework for the time being, because uh, I have a lot to catch up on, and ignore that DoorDash message. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what I ordered. But yeah, we're gonna let it sit for a bit, and for now, while I. While I, while I use this trusty old iPod as my phone for now while I wait. You know, it's always good to have a lot of these devices on you so you can, for situations like this. But yeah, we'll wait for the transfer to be complete and then I'll be right back. All right, it's five o'clock. It's, I just, I literally was laying down in bed watching a YouTube video and I hear the phone vibrate. I'm like, oh, it's done. So let's swipe up, restore complete. Apps and data will restore in the background. The brightness is kind of bright. Oh, okay, I gotta type that in. Dude, oh my god, holding it like this just feels so cool because of the full screen. If I grab my, uh, let me grab my phone eight real quick. Yeah, it feels, it feels weird. But just holding it like this, it's like, like something about it just looks weird because you're holding, you're holding thing with the bezels and this one is the entire screen. And I gotta enter my passcode again. If you guys can pick up the screen super well, um, it's probably because of the brightness. So I have to lower it down, enter iPhone passcode again, dude, oh my God. Uh, it's gonna ask me to set up Apple Pay. Okay, um, I'm gonna blur that one out because it, so it showed my card uh, number, last couple digits, so I'm blurring that. Even though I don't know if this camera's picking it up super well, setting up Apple Cash, I don't even use that. I just used that for a one time that my brother sent me a payment. And I just literally, I transferred to my bank afterwards because it doesn't transfer to your bank. It's a completely different thing. So, well, maybe I should have just disabled Apple Cash because I don't, oh, okay. Thanks for putting that out of public again. Let me do this again. Okay, so now Apple Pay, you can just double click the side button. That would be so much easier than double clicking the home button because sometimes it triggers the touch ID. Apple Watch, do you want to use? Yes, continue. Oh, I have to do the setup process for this guy too because my Apple Watch is paired to my iPhone 8. Uh, okay, I don't know. Is that gonna swear right away? Spare, I mean. Welcome to iPhone, swipe up. Woo, look at all that. Oh, set up cellular. I will set that up later and it's gonna ask me for some other prompt for an account. Oh man, dude, this looks awesome. All my stuff is setting up. That 120 hertz the screen. Okay, so this thing, this has no SIM card right now. But wow. Okay, let's go to settings real quick. Finish setting of cellular. Uh, oh my goodness. General about, uh, let me change the name. And there we go. So it has this much memory left. It's downloading most of my songs, uh, everything like that. Cool. Oh my god. Now the only thing I want to see is the battery health. I really hope I got a good battery on this one. 93%. Hmm. Okay, well that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, my brother says this thing lasts him a really long time when he uses it. And he has a 13 Pro, so I really hope this is a good battery. 93% sounds okay. And I mean, it should be a whole lot better than this thing right here, but uh, man. Everything about it is awesome. Let me see the cameras. That's the one thing I'm excited to try. Uh, choose a style. So we can do standard, high contrast. Let's go with standard for now. Woo! Look at that camera quality. I got ultra wide now. I got video. Let's see for video. Oh, it even got. Oh, okay. Not a bad camera whatsoever. Oops. You guys have to see my face. And you even got this. The brightness goes up whenever I have the front-facing camera on for some reason. Wow, not bad. Okay. All right, so now the last thing that I want to show you guys on video before I stop is I want to see what they replaced. 
like if they replace any components or anything like that. Now there's a really easy way of doing it instead of having to open the phone. You can just plug the phone into three U tools and it'll tell you if anything has been replaced or if there are any genuine parts or non-genuine parts. So let's take it over to the computer right now. All right, so we got the phone plugged into three U tools. Now we can view verification report. I think it's this one right here where we can look at everything to see and make sure that. Okay, so let's see. So it says testing score 100%, motherboard serial number, battery serial number, rear camera, front camera, okay. So it appears that nothing has actually been replaced at all. The battery health is at 93%, charge times 314 times. So it appears that they didn't replace anything, not the screen or nothing like that. So this thing must have been extremely lightly used. So. I'm impressed with this phone. The condition I bought it in, it was, it was this one was acceptable condition. So you'd think it has the worst condition out of like all the ones you could find, but it's actually in really good shape. There are no scratches on the screen. I didn't check the back or the sides, but I'm not even gonna bother. Everything looks good. The camera works, battery health. That one was one thing I felt a little bit sketchy of. Um, and it's at 93%, so it is kinda low, but I mean, considering this thing has a good battery, I think it should be home a whole lot better than my A+, plus. I have to see. And uh, overall, for the price I bought it for, 750 bucks plus the taxes was 800 total. Really, really darn good deal for this phone, and I hope it's gonna last me as long as my iPhone 8 Plus did. And uh, yeah, that camera is freaking awesome, dude. Holy crap. The ultra wide, I'm really glad to have. Uh, maybe eventually, one of these days, I'll actually film with this thing and show you guys how it works or how it looks and yeah now i just gotta get the process of moving my number i'm getting all my apps downloaded and yeah so that's gonna be it for this video guys so super happy to finally have this now i gotta wait for my screen protectors to also arrive because i ordered one for the screen i have one for the camera that i ordered and one for the back as well and yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace